Hello everyone, this is Paul from Orthway Valpal. What I want to show you today is um, a positive brush test on somebody and what that should tell you when you see that. So this young man has not had a mechanism of injury, but he did have surgery about 10 months ago. Uh, had a medial patellofemoral ligament reconstruction, doing really well. The kneecap is holding beautifully in place, um, but the swelling is getting worse. And as the swelling is getting worse, his quad is starting to shut down. And he's feeling a little bit weaker. Okay, so what I want to show you here is how to do a brush test. So what you do is you take and milk the medial side of the knee, okay, from distal to proximal. With the back of the other hand, you push the opposite side, and you can see where the effusion comes through. Okay, so when the test is positive, positive brush test, that means that there is an intra-articular effusion. There is an if, if there's swelling inside the joint capsule. Okay, so when I check what what, what exists inside the capsule is ACL. That's good. PCL, that's good. The meniscus can bleed inside the joint also. He's got a little click there, but not a lot of pain. Lateral meniscus, not bad. And I don't suspect he has a fracture because he walks in here, he really doesn't have a lot of pain. Um, but in his situation, he has this little screw that seems to be prominent here that may be um, gouging the inside of his uh, tissue a little bit, causing some of this swelling. So when he flexes the knee, go ahead and bend it. You're going to bend your knee. Yeah, I feel this grinding sensation right under here. And I, I'm somewhat suspicious that, that may be causing some of that swelling that's continuing. Um, if he continues to have this chronic effusion, the quad will continue to shut down and it puts him at risk of injuring himself. So um, we're going to look into, um, you know, maybe some diagnostic imaging on this, see if we can get that swelling to uh, figure out what's causing the swelling, get it to settle down and uh, get him back on track. But that is a positive brush test and uh, kind of drives you in a certain direction, which means that this problem is an intra-articular issue. Thanks for listening.